Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, how we doing today? I got something very special for you. It's finally time for another Ricardo Milos update. Let me just say, uh, sorry for taking so long. I've uh, been busy. Look, I direct music videos for a living. I got to. YouTube doesn't exactly pay me. Look at that, I got I got over 100,000 views. Yeah, they gave me jack shit. Susan told me to go fuck myself. But uh, anyway, uh, be sure to go check out some of my client music videos that I direct here. I've been working on some of those and uh, some other projects that I can't mention yet, so I hope you guys enjoy them. I've also been doing some more research for some uh, undisclosed projects as well. Please sir, can I have my newspapers back? If you guys like the video, remember to subscribe. Do you like what you see? It, uh, it really helps us out a whole lot here. But anyways, let's get right into this update. But first, we should go back to the info that I shared on the last live stream. A lot of you, uh, weren't here for that because, uh, YouTube doesn't exactly suggest live streams. So I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to convey that important info there like that. That I do not know. But actually, come to think of it, maybe it wasn't that important. Ricardo just posted a couple of things on that Big Muscle account. Like a new photo. Which you would think would be a big deal, but he didn't really show his face in it. He basically just zoomed in on his chest and uh, got to see his nice nippy. But uh, beyond that, the search was looking like it was pretty much over for Ricardo. Until... I got contacted on the new LDG email. Hi Liam, apologies for all the time it's taken to provide an update. Been pretty busy with work and family commitments. As I stated on YouTube, he currently lives in bruh, 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 bruh. town area. His day job is an equestrian field on his ranch slash farmhouse. Ricky is also still working, occasionally, as an escort. I believe your best way to contact him is via his bruh, bruh, bruh. Ricardo Milos account. He still logs in and is still active on this platform. He is a solely business account, not personal, so he may be willing to discuss a price for an interview. I've attached the yearbook photo of Ricky as well, as well as a fairly recent photo of him. Let me know how you get on. Sending Christmas wishes to you and yours. All the best. Yeah, sorry, I, uh, I kind of been sitting on part of this info for, uh, quite a while, please forgive me. I believe the email could be legitimate, like he said, because it included a picture of a younger Ricardo. I haven't been able to find it on a reverse image search, but if you guys can, let me know. I feel like I've seen the other photo of him before, but uh, I can't really put my finger on it. I was determined to contact Ricardo, so I had to do the unthinkable. I had to go on a website, well, where you hired men to, uh, have a happy time with you, and, uh, well, if you, it, you, you hire them to eat your chicken. Eat the cook. Mm. I gotta say, the dark meat here is stupendous. Aye, puppy. I tried to message Ricardo, but it wouldn't allow me to, so it forced me to make an account, and I had to give them more information than I wanted to. You know, I don't post a lot, but when I do, I do a lot for you guys. I hope, uh, I hope you appreciate it. So finally, I got to text Ricardo. And of course, his profile picture is just a big pic of his schlong. Wonderful. So I decided to message him under my new account, Big Irish. I'm realizing that username might have been a bad move. He might think that I want to hire him for his, uh, services also guys if you figure out what site that i use to email ricardo please don't bother him or contact him if prior history is anything to go by he'll probably get very easily annoyed by our antics and i don't want to make him mad hi mr milos i was recently contacted by your old friend and he told me to get in contact with you here I want to offer you an opportunity for a short paid appearance slash interview with your final approval on all conditions, of course. We're really big fans of you and we would love to... Blah, 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 blah. 
I know it's it's very bland, very straightforward, but I want him to know that there's no funny business going on. However, it was then that I realized that he hasn't been online since April of 2020. Bruh. So that's where we're at now, guys. The search is kind of in limbo until I get contacted by Ricardo or his friend again. But not to worry, I do have a plan B. I always do. I've been getting pretty good at learning how to attract a lot of attention for my clients through ad campaigns, so well, that skill might be of use to us in the future for Operation Brazilian Heat. Also, by the way, uh, someone managed to recover an old video from Ricardo's site. Um, uh, I imagine that the uh, that the video is is um, a bit graphic in nature because uh, this is the credits that plays. I imagine that video was graphic in nature because I've only been sent the ending of it, which is the uh, well, it's the credits with a title on it. He really likes that song for some reason. He really likes Some Like It Hot. But anyways, guys, I'll keep you guys updated as more info comes in. Be sure to join the Discord. I'm a bit more, well, active there. And uh, we post a lot of Ricardo memes there. Everyone, be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't yet. And guys, thanks so much. I couldn't ask for a better community. Thanks for staying patient with me as I did all my surgeries and my usual client work the directing and whatnot. It, I really appreciate that you guys stuck around for me and I'm gonna try and make sure that we have a lot of great content on the channel this year. So thanks so much for all the support. I couldn't ask for a better community. You guys peace out and have a good one.